Hello everyone, this is the CRT Productions and this is Windows 10. But not just any old version of Windows 10, of course. This is the very first public release of the operating system we all know and love today. A while back I did a video on the very first Windows 10 release to the Windows Insider program, but this is the first version made available to the general public, and also what you would have installed if you bought a copy back in mid-2015. Besides all of the built-in programs being long unsupported and a few improvements here and there, especially with the notifications menu, Windows 10 really hasn't changed a whole lot since this version. The start menu is mostly the same and all the core utilities like PowerShell were in this version. This is Windows 10 build 10240, properly the very first public build of Windows 10, released July 29th, 2015. I have it installed on a custom-built high-end PC with components mostly from around 2009. It has an Intel Core i7 Extreme Edition 975 quad-core CPU and 12 gigabytes of RAM. Given the age of the system, it's still surprisingly capable, and I've edited several of my recent YouTube videos on it. Recently, I've noticed a number of articles popping up with people pondering what might happen to Windows 10 devices once the operating system goes unsupported in 2025. Considering this version of Windows 10 has been completely unsupported since May 9th, 2017, I think I can give some insight into what that will truly be like. With Windows 10, Microsoft began offering Windows in a software-as-a-service method, meaning that future Windows versions would be delivered through Windows Update as major updates, also known as feature updates, similar to service packs for previous versions of Windows. In other words, Windows 10 was to be the last version of Windows, receiving major updates every so often, but never being truly replaced. Now that Windows 10 has been succeeded by Windows 11, we see how that worked out for Microsoft. Each version of Windows 10, unlike service packs, is treated like its own operating system, with support life cycles that last significantly shorter times than traditional Windows operating systems. Basically, the OS is continually supported with updates, so long as you install each update. If you don't continue to upgrade to newer feature updates, your version becomes unsupported after a couple years. As of the making of this video, the current version of Windows 10 is 21H2, released November 16th, 2021, which will become unsupported on June 13th, 2023 if not upgraded to future versions. So, let me put it like this. Have I stopped using my Windows Vista laptop just because that operating system is unsupported? Well, of course not. Operating systems don't stop working just because they aren't supported anymore. It just means they're more vulnerable to attacks, but you can't get viruses by browsing YouTube and Facebook. All the end of life for Windows 10 will mean is that all versions will stop receiving security updates just like previous versions of Windows. Many versions of Windows 10 are already unsupported. This will just mean that the newer versions will also no longer be supported. So, will I stop using my old X58 rig anytime soon? Well, probably so, because this thing is really old. And uh, I'd kind of like to upgrade to something at least from the last decade. But I won't stop using it because of the support status of Windows 10. That's for sure. Thanks for watching, and stay safe out there.